at the Department of Energy Savannah River site. New bubbler technology and other enhancements are expected to nearly double the amount of radioactive waste processed annually at the nation's largest operating liquid waste processing facility. Implementation and installation of the bubbler technology in Melter 2 at the Defense Waste Processing Facility operated by Savannah River Remediation LLC is a $7 million project funded through the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. Work on the DWPF enhancements began with the liquid waste contract transition to Savannah River Remediation in July 2009 and was supplemented with funding from SRR's Recovery Act assignment in late September of 2009. The bubbler technology has been transferred from SRR subcontractor Energy Solutions, who has commercialized the technology since its invention by the Vitria State Laboratory of the Catholic University of America in Washington, D.C. Using a controlled, systematic approach, technicians have been installing, fitting, and testing component parts throughout the summer. Recovery Act workers have been engaged in all phases of the project work associated with installing the bubblers in the DWPF melter and placement of new infrastructure enhancements. SRR is designing, building, and installing four new argon gas bubblers as one of multiple projects within the DWPF designed to increase the canister production rate. With installation of the bubblers, annual canister production is projected to increase to 325. When all enhancement projects are completed, annual production is projected to be 400 canisters compared to the current annual rate of about 215. This will enable SRR to reach its contract goal of closing 22 liquid waste tanks in eight years. The bubblers and component parts were fabricated this summer and were installed in Reserve Melter 3 at SRS to assure technical compliance with specifications prior to installation in operating Melter 2, which occurred in late September during a planned outage. The DWPF Melter vessel is about 8 feet in diameter and 10 feet high, with a total vessel and support frame weight of approximately 83 tons. When operational, the molten pool of glass inside the vessel weighs about 14,000 pounds. A five-foot-long pour spout extends from one side of the melter to permit the pouring of glass into the stainless steel canister positioned under the pour spout. This is the feature that some people say makes the DWPF melter resemble a teapot. Described like bubbling air through a giant straw into syrup, the bubblers will inject argon gas into the lower glass pool heated to nearly 2140 degrees Fahrenheit. The rising bubbles will mix the glass pool to maintain an even temperature in the melter, which increases the glass production rate. The molten glass is then poured into large stainless steel containers and transported to nearby SRS facilities where it is stored. Commencing radioactive operations in 1996, DWPF will soon process its 3,000th canister. Through American Recovery and Reinvestment Act funding, SRR is deploying technology to safely accelerate the processing of radioactive liquid waste, replacing aging infrastructure and enhancing the safety margin for SRS employees and the public.